Fairmont Pittsburgh is our region's newest, greenest upscale hotel, and already it's going to the dogs. But this is happening by design. The hotel's first canine ambassador has taken up residence in downtown Pittsburgh, and Edie herself is here with Julia Abramovic, the public relations manager for Fairmont Pittsburgh, and welcome. Good to see you both. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, well, this is kind of fun. I saw the release a few weeks ago that you, you brought a dog into the hotel. Yeah. Is, 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 uh, what's the rationale behind it? Uh, it's something that Fairmont does at many of our other properties, and so we're not the first to do it, but um, certainly the first here in Pittsburgh. Edie is our canine ambassador, and what that means is she's here to greet our guests, make them feel welcome and more at home because often when guests are traveling they miss their own pets. Okay and do, you, do people bring their pets to the Fairmont sometimes? Yes they can. We're a pet friendly hotel so um, Edie as our canine ambassador reinforces that message as well. Okay so what, how does she spend her days? She comes to work with me every day um, in the morning and she's in our lobby from about nine to five and she does take a little break um, but she's in the lobby with our concierge. She greets guests and um, you know, welcomes them to the hotel. And then guests are also available to sign up and take her for a walk during their stay. So oftentimes she's out around the city um, showing our guests Pittsburgh. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So yeah, they're really yearning for their own pets or whatever. They can get that pet, that walk the dog fix while they're yeah. staying in Pittsburgh. Uh, now, what kind of dog is she? Edie's a boxer lab mix. Okay, and where did she come from? She came from an organization in Ohio called Circle Tail Inc. And uh, the organization trains service dogs. So Edie was training to be some sort of dog, maybe um, with an autistic child or someone with a hearing impairment. Um, but she went through about a year and a half of training um, and did not complete it. She's too social. Huh. So you can apply then to um, get those dogs, they're called the release dogs, and um, you know they're still perfectly suitable for some sort of public setting such as a nursing home or a hotel in our case, and that's okay. how we found her. Too much of a party animal. She so. <laughs> <laughs> But that's great because then she's had some training and you know there's yes. some discipline and whatever. If you're going to have her in a public environment, you need the right kind of dog to be in the lobby of a hotel like the Fairmont. That's exactly right. She's not barking at our guests or jumping up on them, um, just greeting them and, as I said, making them feel welcome. Yeah, and, and how do people react when they see the dog in the hotel? It's been overwhelmingly positive. A lot of times they'll see people do a double take. Um, you know, just to see a dog laying in the lobby of a luxury hotel. <laughs> I don't think they're expecting it, but um, they come right over and pet her, and when they learn about the program, they're really impressed with it. Well, that's really, that's, that's really exciting. Well, it sends, it sends a nice homey image, that's for sure. Yes. Uh, you know, a very, a very uh, beautiful brand new hotel in downtown Pittsburgh to have that kind of, that kind of atmosphere around it. Uh, so, uh, it, in, in general, the hotel's been open how long now here in Pittsburgh? Um, let's see here, about a year and a half. In okay. fact, um, Edie was born the same month that the hotel opened, so oh, really? that's a good way to remember it. Yeah, we opened um, March 29th, 2010. Okay, it seems to have been a great success for the Fairmont chain and for downtown Pittsburgh. Yes, yeah, we're, um, we're keeping busy, so um, it's been an exciting year and a half for sure. Yeah, yeah. what's sort of next for Edie? Is, it, is she, this is the role she's going to play here in Pittsburgh for some time to come? We hope so, yeah. yes. Um, and we want to kind of expand her out into the community also, so um, she'll do some school visits coming up here and, um, you know, we'll talk to the students about what a working dog does and what a hotel dog really means um, and other community events. In fact, um, Barktoberfest, which... Barktoberfest? Barktoberfest, okay. which is an event coming up um, in a few weeks here. It's a dog costume contest and... Um, it, it raises money for charity here in the city, and Edie will be attending that. Um, so just fun things like that in the city. That's really cool. Yeah. So yeah, you're very serious about the ambassador role. She, she really does represent the hotel outside the hotel, out in the community and everything else. She does, yes. yeah. Well, excellent. Well, it's a lot of fun. It was great to meet e Edie seems to really like it here on the set. I and think she's she really might vegged stay. out there in the chair <laughs> and everything. They're very comfortable. So uh, <laughs> hopefully you're going to be able to wake her up enough to go back to work. <laughs> <That's> so <true. laughs> Well, Julia Bravovic from uh, the, the, the Fairmont Pittsburgh. Edie, it was great to meet you. and. Uh, Best of luck here in your new home. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. And we'll be back in a minute with a little dollars and cents. Stay with us.